Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to make wool dryer balls. It's an oldie but goodie, but they're a cost efficient, eco friendly way to decrease your clothes drying time. Wool dryer balls help to eliminate the need for commercial dryer sheets. So you're going to need yourself some wool yarn. You'll also need a crochet hook. You're also going to need a pair of pantyhose or knee highs, whichever you have. Um, you're also going to need some yarn and you want to make sure that you're not using the wool yarn. You're going to want to use an acrylic yarn or something different because you're going to use that to tie the balls um, into the pantyhose, which I'll show you later. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. So that's all you're going to need to be able to create these fabulous dryer balls, which also help um, you know reduce the static in your clothes and it's going to reduce your drying time because of the way the balls fluff around in the water in the in the cycle. You're not going to have to worry about um, drying them as long. If you're looking for a fragrance, you can always use uh, an essential oil, um, lavender. It's one that people use um, that I've used. So anything that you want to put in there to kind of make it smell good, but you want to make sure that, um, you know, you the less chemicals, the better. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. You'll first go ahead and just um, kind of unwrap your yarn. And what I like to do is I take two fingers. And then I start wrapping the yarn around those two fingers. So I'm going to wrap it a total of maybe 15 to 20 times around my two fingers. Just like you see here, just keep wrapping. And um, as you do this, you're going to create a ball. So just kind of follow the screen and what I'm doing there. Just continue to wrap, wrap, and wrap until you start um, forming a small ball. You just keep wrapping and then you'll get to a point where you have a ball of yarn about the size of a tennis ball. I don't play tennis so I'm just assuming that's about the size of a tennis ball but you know it fits in the, in the palm of my hand and that's what you're looking for. So you want to just make sure that last piece of string that you used, um, the last portion of the string that you use is taut so just keep um, wrapping it around to ensure that it is tight. And then once you've got it to the tightness that you need, um, go ahead and clip that piece of yarn. And as you see there, we still have quite a bit of yarn that's going to allow us to make even more um, wool balls. So that's awesome. So you're going to go ahead and grab your crochet hook and then you will kind of manipulate it into the ball so that basically you are going to secure that piece of yarn. And you want to make sure that you're using wool yarn. It has to be the wool kind, otherwise it will not felt. If you see on the package that it is machine washable, then that is not the wool that you're looking for. We're, we are going to need this, um, this fabric, this type of yarn fabric to um, felt over in order for it to be an effective ball. But there you go. I'm just pushing that in there, keeping that string secure. It's not going to make too big of a difference once we put it into the pantyhose it will um, keep its shape in its form. So just continue using the additional amount of yarn that you have there to make as many balls as you can. I d can usually get about two to three balls. It just, just depends on how big I make it and how tight I make it. Um, I find the more balls you have in your laundry cycle, the quicker your clothes will dry. So I was able to get about two, maybe and a half. That's a little bitty baby ball, but I'm gonna still go ahead and felt that um, but yeah, so that's what you have there. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to um, place the yarn balls into the stocking or pantyhose. So if you're using a stocking, go ahead and just cut off the leg portion. You're not going to need the entire pantyhose. 
and you see how I'm doing that there I just stick the ball down into the stockings footed area and I'm going to just secure that twist it secure it and then tie the yarn around it and like I said earlier you want to make sure that you're not using the same wool yarn in this step just because when you go to cut it out of there that wool yarn will felt in the um, process of um, putting it either in the washing machine or putting it in hot water so just go ahead and tie yourself a little knot a little bow just to keep it secure and then once you do that you will add your other ball so you'll add up you'll put one ball in tie the string add another ball tie the string and then add your third ball and just depending on how many you're making you'll continue to add until you run out of stocking area and then um, you'll be ready to move into the next step so just continue adding balls and there you have it I have all three of my wool balls into the stocking that's <laughs> cute looks like a little bitty caterpillar <laughs> All right, just clip that end off that you don't need. Like I said, if you're making multiple balls, more than three, you have more stocking to go. Okay, now at this step, we're going to combine, we're going to put the balls in a plastic bowl, uh, usually something that you could use that has a lid on it. I just boil some water in a tea kettle or a coffee pot, and then I poured over the balls now keep in mind that these um these balls will absorb that water so i leave it in there and i let it soak that's probably been soaking for probably about 20 minutes it's still very hot but i'm going to go ahead and just add some more water to it just to ensure that it's going all the way through because i did make a really tight ball i've let this sit for about 45 minutes while i was doing other things in the kitchen once that water cooled off a little bit i went ahead and dumped that water out and then just squeezed some of the excess water out of those balls okay and at this stage I'm just gonna stick that into the dryer I had already washed some clothes I'm gonna stick it in the dryer on the highest temperature that you can and let that go around for one complete cycle if you find that your balls are still wet you just let them go back in on another round but here you go I did one cycle and voila you have yourself a wool dryer ball and like I said this concept of this is very cool it keeps the clothes separated it allows more hot air to get through the garments which allows to allows it to dry softer so I mean I love these you can get these they retail anywhere from $12.95 and up so this is a great economical way of saving yourself some money and time all right there you are thank you for watching